Next in the traditional five elements is water. Uh, at least that's the way I do it. That's the order I do it. Now this one is pretty easy, and I think once you once you learn the form, it's really easy to remember, or kind of a memory trick to put with it is why it's called water. Or at least for me it is. Um, it's a pretty simple thing. There are some moves that could be confused with similar moves. Once you get the form down, it's okay to change that, to alter that. That's fine. Uh, but for starters, we're going to do the traditional side of it, okay? Now, just like the last one, we're going to start left side forward. Or left side, caddy corner. So north again, north, northwest. So I'm, my body's lined that way, but I'll be going north. So I'll start here in my traditional bow and salute, come around here. Now, what I'm going to do now is take this left leg. I'm in my song T, my dragon stance, but I'm going to take this left leg and step it out and live of a lunge. Be really careful about this. I know there's lots of ideas on is it okay to put your feet out or keep them close. Um, I've seen it work both ways. But yes, there is a danger to putting your foot out once your feet do get spread out it's much easier to slip and fall so generally it's better to keep them closer but in this case we're going to step out left hand blocks this is against sort of that wild swing that uh let's see if we probably just call it that billy bob swing so you're blocking there and at the same time your right hand strikes low okay so imagine my opponent right here they swing we step out, block and strike. Okay, outside block, palm strike low, really targets the groin. If you are worried about that lunge and you don't want your feet so spread out apart, you can always step that up and make it a full lunge. Okay, that's fine. So we do our balance salute, come around to our opening, step, block, and strike. Again, bow, salute, come up, block and strike. Now, from here, your right hand makes a fist, it closes. Your left hand's going to go down. As that left hand goes down, your right hand pulls back and does a water strike. Sort of looks like an uppercut, but it's a different angle. An uppercut has this sort of circular kind of arc to it. Right? But this doesn't do that. This is going to go straight, um, well, at an angle. So think of this as like you're blocking down, striking to the throat maybe, or to the lower jaw, the ear, something like that. <coughs> you could think of that as an entire combination, the front first half of the form well, the second half. You could think of that as an entire combination, um, but I like to think of them as two separate moves. All right, and what I mean by that is, let's do it again. After we do our opening, block, strike the groin, palm strike the groin, that's one move. Now, as I step, that's two moves. Okay, we do not have to put that together in a combination. You can, but in my opinion, the bigger, longer combinations you make, with the uh, increased amount of stepping, I think it gets a little bit more wonky. <clears throat> wonky is a scientific term. Now, salute, and we're open. Step, block, one, grab, pull it back, or close, pull it back, step, down, water strike. Now from there, we're just going to go to our Santi, our dragon stance. And we'll do it exactly the same thing, but opposite side. So, step, block, palm strike, make a fist, this pulls back. As I do, this is going to block down, step, water strike. There are two ways to turn. Really, there's a bunch of ways, but we're going to step it into a horse stance, but our traditional turn, this comes out. That's one way to do it. Another way you can do it, is our version of the crane block. I kind of like that because it feels more water, but this has a lot of moves you'll see come up later. <clears throat> so for now, I'll set crane block, since that's the way I originally taught it. So 
over here. Now from here, go back to our Santi. Just little small adjustments. Step block, palm strike, grab. Step, block down, water strike to the throat. Back to your Santi. Step out, block, palm strike low. Make a fist. Step, block down, here. Go on to your horse, water strike, or crane block. And from there, bow and salute. If you notice, I only did two of the segments. I only did a two count up, a two count back. Um, you could do four normally, and if I was practicing, I would do four up, four back. But I, di I didn't have the space on the camera range to do that, so I stuck with two. That's okay. When I was in college, I had a very small apartment room, my bedroom, and that's where I'd practice. And I could never get more than a two count on any form. So I'd always keep a very short distance. I would travel on my forms and I would turn very quickly. That's okay. You do what you can. So let's try this again. We'll do it again with a two count. And go this direction. I'm heading north. <clears throat> Although, just so you know, that's not really north. I think that's really north. But <clears throat> So, from here, step, block, strike. Grab, step, block down, water strike. Reset your stance. Right here, block, grab, or palm strike. Make a fist, grab, however you want to think of it. Pull back, step, here. Turn, crane block, or earth. Or, alternatively, hammer fist, if you really like. Myself, personally, crane block, block feels coolest to me. Reset, block, palm strike, make a fist, step, water strike, reset. Lunge, block, palm strike, make a fist, step, here. Crane block, salute, and back. All right, so that's going in our north direction. Now we're gonna go this direction. Again, I'm heading south now, this direction. But my stance is lined up at that angle first. Now, salute. Here. Go step. Block palm strike. Make a fist. Water strike. Reset. Block palm strike. Make a fist. Step. Water strike. Turn. Crane block. Could be earth. <coughs> Reset. Step. Block palm strike. Make a fist. Here. Boom. Step. Fist, turn, crank. Now, that's also a really good one. Uh, I've done that a little bit more hard. If you want to make it more of a soft form, you certainly can. Or that's one you can mix up. What I mean by that is, think of it like Tai Chi. It'll be very easy in your own practice to make that very much like a Tai Chi form or a tournament of whatever you want. That's fine. A lot of instructors wouldn't like that. I don't care as long as it works for you. Remember, Sing Yi is force of your will. Emphasis of your. All right, so now we're doing it this way. Now, salute, here. Step, block, palm strike. Grab, step, here. I'm still generally going straight forward on my center line, but I'm a little bit off, a little bit to the side as far as my movements, but my attacks are pretty much going forward. So, that's traditional five elements, water. 